Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I want you to comment on the issues surrounding the eligibility of uh, ECL, not as a politician, but just as a human being who understands laws. Mm -hmm. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Then, yeah, then I also want you to comment on the cost of living uh what has caused the cost of the cost of living to go high you know the buying of medium and everything as well not as a politician but just a, a normal human being who understands these parameters mm. Mm. yes then the other one i wanted to ask i think you already answered it when it comes to these convictions which are going around uh, that one i think you answered just just these two uh, so I'm going to cut and listen through WhatsApp. I mean Facebook. Okay. So All right, thank you. The first thing on eligibility. The issue of eligibility. I will go back a little bit to give a bit of a, a background. In the previous, because a lot of some of the, some of the people that make arguments on social media, some of them don't understand. You see. Um, our constitution from 1964 up to today, we have been making amendments. We have been making amendments. We have been making amendments. And um, um, we, we had the constitution, I think, over, is it 1991 to, uh, to about 2016. Anyway, they con and then in 2015, we had another amendment, okay? So we have versions, and if I'm wrong, I, I, I stand to be corrected, I think we have about three versions of uh, amendments. So maybe let me just say three, three versions. Now, of these three versions, let me say like the second version. The second version, which is when Sata came into power, we were, we were in the second version okay i stand to be corrected about that but i'm just trying to say something so that uh, uh, you understand so we have this we had the second version this second version i think i'm actually right because the first one was 1964 to 1973 when we changed to one party state after one party state then we changed to a uh, mount partism Okay, which is in 1991. 1991 until this time when it was changed. So, okay, in the second version, that is when SATA came into power. And in that version of that constitution, in that version of that constitution, when we talk about the presidency, when we talk about the presidency, the constitution said, the constitution said that a person cannot be sworn in more than twice. That is what that the second version was saying. The second version, okay, or the second edition was saying that a person cannot be sworn in more than twice. He cannot be sworn in twice. That was like the second version, okay, the 1991 edition. Meaning, it doesn't matter how long you stay in power. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You could, you could, you could. Uh, become president today you are sworn in okay you stay three months you are out and then for whatever reason you come again and you are sworn in you know and you stay president for another three months meaning six months it doesn't matter it means for you it is done because you have been sworn in twice okay that was the second version that was the second version it said you cannot be sworn in more than twice you can only be sworn in twice. So this did not matter. This did not matter in terms of in terms of um, uh, in terms of how long you you stay in power. It doesn't matter. So takulifia kovat no takuishetemu as long as you have been sworn in twice, that's it. Okay. 
That is the vision in which uh, uh, what is this Sata came in. And when he was dying, he left that vision, that constitution, which said only twice, you cannot be sworn in three times, only twice. However, so Edgar Lungu, when Edgar Lungu came in, when Sata died, he was sworn in. Eh, in 20, that was the, in 2015. He was sworn in. 2015 January, as I remember. After that, when he was sworn in, that was once. Then next, he was sworn in in 2016. Now, in 2016, he was sworn in. That was second. Meaning, according to that vision of that constitution, that was it. That was it. Okay? Because he was sworn in twice. Now, we are talking about he was sworn in the first time in 2015. The next time when he was being sworn in, in 2016, we had a new constitution. That is where many people have missed it. 2015, we had a new constitution. Immediately, Edgar Lungu came in, he signed a new constitution. So, the next time that he was being sworn in, he was sworn in in a new constitution. And what was this new constitution saying? This new constitution which we have now, it talks about the theme. It talks about the theme. It says for a person to consider that he, he has finished a term, he must have saved for more than three years. If you save less than three years, it is considered it is not a term. So, we are talking about Edgar Lungu. One time he was sworn in in an old constitution. The other time that he was sworn in, it was in a new constitution. This is where there is a problem. This is where there is a problem. The first one is saying you are sworn in only twice, that's it. Okay? And he was sworn in, first time he was sworn in, it was in the um in the in the old constitution the next time he was sworn in it was in the new constitution which was saying for you to finish it to, to consider a term you must have finished it three years so there this is where the problem came in what are we going to do are we going to follow the old constitution or are we going to follow the new constitution you see what i mean this is where the problem arose this is where you saw the but uh, Dan Pule and others going to court. They wanted the court to interpret this. What are we going to do with Edgar Lungu? The first court, the, in the, he was sworn in, the first time he was sworn, the constitution said only twice. The next time he was, he, 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 whatever, it was, uh, it was in the new constitution. What do we do? And the court made, made a ruling. The court made a ruling. And what did the court say? The court said, since Edgar Lungu is a transitional president, meaning he transitioned from the old to the new, we will allow him, we will allow him to, uh, we will not consider, we will not consider the one that he, he finished for Vasata. We will not consider the time that he finished for Vasata. We will not consider that as a term. Instead, we will consider only the 2016, between 2016 to 2021. That is the one that we are going to consider. For the one that he finished for Vasata, we will not consider it as a term. We will not consider it as a term. But we will consider the one that he did between 2016 and 2021. So the court made a ruling. The court made a ruling. And this is where many people have, uh, have remained behind. Because the number of them, they said, no, he was sworn in twice. The constitution said to so, uh, uh, sworn in twice. That's it. Yes, the old constitution. The first one. When he was finishing the term of Vasata. That's what it said. But the second one is different. But nonetheless, whatever it is, what is important in Zambia, our constitution is made either by registration, meaning meaning the 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 the, 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 the parliament, or by 
uh, you know, uh, uh, what is this? Rulings, the judgments that come, the judgment that comes, they are they they form part of our constitution. In other ways, what we say, this is why you see that uh, judges, when they are making the ruling, they refer to precedents. They said, in such such a case, this is what was ruled. In such such a case, this is what they ruled. Because the law is dynamic. The law is dynamic. So there can be a situation which was not considered in the constitution and it comes before a judge. And once a judge makes a judgment, it becomes part of the precedent. It becomes part of the law. One of the examples that I would give is the Public Order Act. The Public Order Act, you know, there is a precedence that has been set. You know, I don't remember, uh, I mean, in the case of whatever, whatever, whatever. But there is a precedence. And that precedence should be, it has become part of the law. And so, in this case, there is a precedence out of the judgment that was made by the judges. Where they said, the time that uh, Edgar Lungu finished for Basata was not considered as a term. Instead, they consider 2016, 2021, and that is why he stood in 2021. And this is the this is the position of the judges. This is the position of the courts. So, me not speaking as a politician, speaking as a citizen, even by John Sangwa, who is a lawyer, also acknowledged this. He said, "Look." I, but John, but John Sango was part of the judge, the, 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 the lawyers that was saying, no, 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 Edgar Lungu should not contest. But when they made the, the ruling, when they made the ruling, they made the, they passed the judgment. John Sango said, since they have passed the judgment, I mean, that's it. That's it. Whether I agree with it or not, the judgment has been passed. We have to respect it. So that is why Ed Galungu stood in 2021, and that is why some of us are against these, you know, machinations of bringing back this, this case in court, because they made a ruling that Ed Galungu uh, had only done one term, which is the 2015, the 2016 to 2021. That is my position as, as Chirufatayari, not as a politician, but as Chirufatayari. You spoke about the issue of the cost of living. What has caused the cost of living? What has caused the cost of living, I'll tell you, is that, number one, when, when Haka Indeichirem was coming in, there was a global economic meltdown. Global economic meltdown. We had challenges. Prices were going up everywhere. In America, in Asia, everywhere. Prices were going up. Okay? Including fuel and everything. And a number of countries took measures to look after people, to sustain people, to cushion people. So, unfortunately, from President Haka in the and his government, they did not come up with good policies. So, I am admitting here as a person that there have been challenges in terms of uh, commodity prices going up globally. But the onus has been now on the individual government to take policies that will help people. Mind you, a government is there to help people. A government is there not for, for, the, for the rich, for the strong. No, uh, government is there especially for the, for the poor people, for the weak. That's why we have governments. The government brings uh, equity between you know, the, the rich and the poor. And unfortunately, President Haka Inde Ichirema has not come up with policies that will help the Zambian people, the poor people. What are those, some, of the, some of those policies? For example, he has been removing subsidies, you know, from fuel, he has been removing subsidies from agriculture. And this has caused the prices of millimeter to uh, the prices of commodities to go higher. And instead of you know getting money now from the rich to bring to the poor, he has been giving subsidies to sub to, to rich people. A good example is the mining industry. That those are rich people, the people who own the mine, those are rich people. But that is where Haka in he has given a subsidy in form of um, in, in, in form of uh, tax, uh, tax holidays. So this is where we criticize Haka Indeichirema to say 
yes, much as we understand these problems, uh, which have been happening globally, but Haka Inde Ichirema has uh, messed up by implementing harsh policies which do not help the poor Zambians. That is my position. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.